invitation to you, and perhaps this is one of your takeaways, this week have high noticing around what pushes your buttons to those three re responses. The fight, flight, freeze. What is it specifically? There's a pattern that you'll start to see. And then really just pause and ask yourself a question. Become curious. What's this about? What's really going on here? What is this about? Is it my need to be right, liked or understood? And many times, when we don't feel understood, shazam, we get into the assumptions. Oh, they don't like me. Oh, I talked to so-and-so about it. I can tell she doesn't. Well, how do you know she doesn't? No, I can just tell. Has anybody ever said that? No, I can just tell. They don't like me. How can you tell? Well, they rolled their eyes. So there's an assumption. Because they rolled their eyes, maybe they had something in their eye. We jump. That's a generous assumption, right? It's amazing just the different um, studies and stories that I've read on uh, just a positive disposition versus a negative disposition. And one story in particular really caught my attention. It was about these twins. And there were, there were two twins, and one of them was anything you did in their life, they were completely positive about it. Just over the moon, the glass was always full. The other twin, didn't matter what you did. Ah, right, that doesn't work, that won't work for me. Always going negative. So those are the two extremes. So somebody came up and said, hey, let's do a little test. On their birthday, let's wrap up a box of manure and give it to the, the, the positive twin, and let's give a brand new bike to the one that had a tendency to go negative. And let's just see what happens. So their birthday comes, they give the, the uh, bike to the twin that had a tendency to go negative, and he stood back and looked at it, and he's like, there's no helmet. I'm not riding this thing, because I might hurt myself. I'm gonna break a bone if I get on this thing. And that was his response. Then they gave the box of manure to the other one, and there was a pause, and he had this look of concern on his face, and then he broke in a huge smile, and he said, oh my gosh, you got me a pony. <laughs> you got me a pony. And this is just such a great example of how life can happen. And that's why when I shared that shower epiphany of when I said, wow, God, you are giving me my PhD in suffering here. So that any time I'm working with any human being and they're going through a bump in life or something has bumped them or they're stuck, then I have a, a depth of understanding based on my own experience of going through it. So that I can look through the skills and techniques and, and land in, in the place of the heart where true transformation happens. Watch out for mind reading and assumptions. 